Hi, now here we have an example on calculating an angle in radians and also working out the area of a sector. So I'll just read out the example to you, but if you'd like to pause the video at any point to have a go at this, uh, come back when ready and you can check your work solution with mine. Well, what we've got here is the triangle XYZ in this figure and we're told that XY is 6 centimeters, YZ is 9 centimeters and ZX is 4 centimeters and angle ZXY is alpha. And the point W lies on XY and the circular arc ZW in figure 1 is a major arc of the circle with center X and radius 4 centimeters. So in the first part, part A, we've got to show to three significant figures that alpha equals 2.22 radians and then go on to find the area in centimeter squares of the major sector XZWX. So if you've had a go at this, let's just uh, show you how I'd go about working it out anyway and you can check your solution. Well, first of all, to work out the angle alpha, I see that in this triangle XYZ, I've got three sides given. And when you've got three sides given of a non right angle triangle, you can use the cosine rule. And uh, the cosine rule, just briefly, is that if you've got a triangle ABC with your three sides ABC, then the cosine of an angle, let's say A, is equal to the sum of the squares of the two sides that surround the angle minus the opposite side squared all divided by twice the product of the two sides that surround the angle that you're looking to find. Okay, So in this example here all I've got to do then for cosine alpha is just write cos alpha equals the sum of the squares surrounding the angle, so that's going to be say 4 squared plus 6 squared minus the side opposite the angle squared, so that's minus 9 squared and divide this all by twice the product of the two sides that surround the angle, so that's 2 multiplied by 4 multiplied by 6. And if you do this on your calculator you should find you end up with minus 0.6041 and so on. So to get the angle alpha all we've got to do is just take the inverse cosine of minus 0.6041 and so on. But what you've got to be careful is that make sure your calculator is in radians mode. Right? And if you do that you should find you get 2.2195 and so on radians. So this is equal then to 2.22 radians if we just give it to three significant figures which is what we were asked to do. Okay so uh, that's then part A. Now in part B we've got to find the area in centimeter squares then of the major sector X, Z, W, X. So this is this portion just in here. OK. Now to do this, you've got to be familiar with the formula for the area of a sector. And the formula for the area of a sector with a radius R that has an angle theta here. The area is a fraction of the area of a circle. The fraction is the angle theta over 2 pi when you're working with radians. If it was degrees, it would be theta over 360 degrees of to times the area of a circle, pi r squared. But when you're working radians, it's theta over 2 pi of pi r squared. And you'll notice that the two pi's cancel one another out, just leaving you with the formula theta r squared over 2. I always tend to just work with this version, though. I always find it's just as straightforward. So I'm going to just say that therefore we've got the area of the sector equals the angle. Now the angle is going to be 
2 pi minus alpha, this angle round here. So we'll just write that as 2 pi minus the angle alpha. Angle alpha, we'll take the unrounded version, is 2.2195 and so on. We're dividing this by 2 pi. 2 pi radians, remember, is the amount of radians in a complete turn, equivalent to 360 degrees. So it's this fraction of the area of the circle. And the area of the circle is pi times the radius squared, the radius being 4. Okay, 4 squared is our radius from x to z. So the pi's cancel one another out. And so you've just got to put this through your calculator. And if you do this, you should find you get 32.5094 and so on. And if we round this to, say, three significant figures, it's going to equal 32.5 centimeter squares to three significant figures, 3SF for short. OK. Now I've got further tutorials on areas of sectors, arc lengths, working in radians, the cosine rule, and even the sine rule if you go on my website examsolutions.net.